Well, we'll quickly move on to... We're going to talk about this one for a little bit because it was... I thought it was terrible, but this is a very similar game to Moving Out and Overcooked. Mm. It's called Tools Up, isn't it? Tools Up. Which is basically the same concept as Moving Out, but instead of Moving Out, you're setting a house up for Moving, moving in. in. Like Moving in, yeah. yeah, you're decorating, you're getting shit ready. The concept is there. The controls and everything else Whoa, are not. Yeah. I don't think it's by the same people because no, it, sure. it feels it feels cheaper. Clunky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cl- it, so yeah. Tools up. It's a similar thing for two to four. Well, one to four players setting up houses and stuff. But it was all just so clunky. Like everything didn't quite land right. Mm. And yeah, it, it, the con- I feel like maybe if that's an, I know it's out, isn't it? So it's not an early build because we only played the demo, but. Yeah, it's just, it could have been as good as the others if they spent more time on it, but they clearly rushed it out the door, I think. But... Yeah, there were a few <clears> moments <throat> where it was a definite delay. Mm. In it felt like everything you were doing was a, like a second delay for them to actually do it. Yeah, and I think it it was still funny. Yeah, it still gave the same clarity as, to, as the other two. As but... the other two, but it was frustrating, but not in the right way. Because the, yeah. the other games are frustrating because you, you can't do as well as you can do yeah because either your tactics are wrong or, or you're, you're laughing you're laughing or you're panicking <laughs> for some reason but it's your fault yeah but in that because the controls don't always work mm. it does great on you because when you're having to redo levels because the reason you failed is partly to do with the lack of response time yeah it starts to get yeah. it gets a bit annoying yeah. and i felt the hit detection was pretty bad like with the lava and stuff yeah, yeah. That was just oh the lava <laughs> yeah. although your favorite moment when you drop the carpet in the lake <laughs> you were just chasing it for ages and then i didn't uh, instead <laughs> what i did was i let it go around went back into the room and started painting then every time it came back around i'd take, more take a section of carpet off <laughs> not take the carpet out let it go around. Just just grab it. It was like a, you know, passing by carpet, just <laughs> grabbing bits off. Why didn't I just take it out? I do wonder the people who then moved into that house and they're like, why is the carpet wet? <laughs> or why is there a river in the middle of our house? Yeah, that's house? probably the bigger yeah. question, to be fair. And also, the decoration is terrible. It's like lime green flooring lime green. and walls. Yeah. Ugh. Anyway, that was Tools Up. Now we've got the, the big one we've been talking about. Oh, no. The big kahuna. Big <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't unlock the pink bananas. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, basically, this is one that the one of the developers or somebody from the company who made the game actually reached out to me because they heard the last co-op cast and offered a free copy of the game to do it in another video as well. And looked at the trailers and was like, you know, graphically it looks quite nice and it basically looks like the Trials bike games mm. but with water slides. Um, so I was like, yeah, you know, I'll give that a go. And it's fucking hilarious. I, I love it. I'm not sure about you, but I thought that game was great. I mean, there's some inappropriate moments. It's but... one of the weirdest experiences <laughs> I've so had. It's so weird. It's, it's definitely unique. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. And I had fun. I had a lot of fun. Um, I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> but... So, uh, yeah, this is this game's called Slide Stars. I think it came out last week. Um, it's my first free game on the channel. It's not my first early game, although actually no, I didn't get it early in the end because they were delayed sending it to me. That's beside the point, it's my first free game. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's like Trials but on water slides. Mm. And you go down these quite interestingly designed water slides doing like loop-de-loops and stuff and doing all these crazy jumps. And we'll talk about the rides, then the characters, because I don't know what's going on with them. So uh... you can basically choose lots of different Shall we say flotation devices? Yeah, let's say flotation um, devices. Get a pink flamingo. Everyone likes a pink flamingo. Who doesn't? You get a large banana. <laughs> like, talking... It's a big know, Yeah. Big 12 foot, 12 foot long banana. <laughs> and, yeah, you, you, they write about it as inappropriately as you can imagine. And, of course, it has an alternative colour, which is proper, proper penis pink. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. and then a bunch of other rides, but let's move on to the characters. I'm not sure if I should fear for my life or not. Should I? Yes, the the characters are. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna have a close up of a character's face while we talk about this. 
Oh wait. Oh, amusement well, Greg. Amusement Greg. <laughs> oh. I, I, oh. I'm gonna say I've liked a lot of characters in games, but I think no, amusement. Ellie from The Last of Us. Yeah. Sort yeah. of the hedgehogs. Nathan of Drake. Nathan Drake. But amusement Greg. Oh, amusement Greg. He's my man. I mean, I can't imagine my life without him anymore. It's hard to describe. <laughs> By the way, just just so you know, that hard to describe after talking about Amusement Greg, I'm going to put him in, him in riding banana as you say that. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it has to be done. That's good because yeah, it, it is his face is something to behold. <laughs> you know? It's it's terrifying. It's kind of like a Barbie doll's face. No, it's like a Ken doll's it's, face. It is Ken dollish, yeah. But um Ken dollish, that sounds Ken- like a place in school. <laughs> no, go to Ken dollish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So just for clarification, all of these characters are based on real people. They're like YouTube stars, social people, people who leave the house. Yes. You know, uh, Instagram people, stuff like that. So they're all modeled on real people, but there's just something slightly strange about them all. Yeah, it's probably to do with the animation. The animation. Itself. And the extreme perfectness of every character. There is a degree of perviness. <laughs> yeah. Some of them are a little bit inappropriate. Yeah, yeah so just a little bit. I mean, you know, position-wise is, is pretty pretty strange. Yes. And I thought that when I saw the trailer. I was like, this looks a bit weird. <laughs> yes. I mean, I suppose they are in bikini weather, so, you know, but... Yeah, but then still. you throw in a hot sauce bottle that is gushing. <laughs> you can have as a, as a flotation device a gushing hot sauce bottle. Oh, yes. And it sure is hot sauce. And it sure is gushing. And it sure is gushing. Um, and you can and change it to a green bottle. It's just puking everywhere, it looks like. Yeah. And if you, you go forwards, it's gushing one way. It's, you can turn around, it's gushing the other. There's no gushing aspect of it that looks right. No. Um, it all just looks wrong. And then when a scantily dressed person is on top of it, it yeah. It, it's, it, it's get, kind of, it gets a bit concerning. Yes. Yeah. But, that being said... I feel we both had a lot of fun playing this game. It is a lot of fun. It is. It's so unlike trials, you play all. You can play all the levels two player, and it's just whoever crosses the finish line first. Which, for the love of God, was you like every fucking time until, until the tide turned. Until the tide turned, and then it was me every time. Yeah, pretty much most of them. Yeah, I think Sometimes. you you were catching I th- up. I think I caught up, but yeah. the first half, I was just, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, you were definitely <laughs> catching up to me until the dreaded level oh god of 20 minutes oh, jesus christ yeah i hate that level we'll discuss that level at the end yeah um but yeah like i felt like the level design was pretty good yeah the um, um the routes were interesting yeah and the fact that you could go <clears throat> multiple ways it, it had a nice it, yeah it definitely had vibes of trials in a good yeah. way um but it's uh so for anyone who's played the donkey kong the newer donkey kong country games so donkey kong Tropical Freeze and Donkey Kong Country Returns. The developer actually told me that they uh, actually were inspired by its level design and its graphics, which you can kind of tell. Um, but yeah, like you can basically collect items as certain characters that unlock different routes. So you can take like slightly different routes, get from them different ability, uh, get different bonuses and stuff. And every level there's like a star that you can collect that unlocks more stuff. Um, and yeah, ultimately, ultimately, I thought like. For a game that I was from watching the trailers, it didn't have many views and stuff like that. I was a bit like, "This is going to be any good?" I was actually really surprised. It's it's a pretty solid game. The unlockable system's quite cool. Yeah, um, you unlock something pretty much every one or two races. Yeah, and despite the the characters looking a bit like the cast of the anyway, they are pretty, they are pretty funny to look at. Um, <laughs> yeah, you 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 get you get a, enough reward. Mm. You don't always get stuff, but it's usually every one or. You know, yeah. there's a gap of one or two levels and then you get more stuff. Yeah. Um, which is kind of what Rocket League does as well. There's a yeah. nice reward system, um, but it doesn't just give it all to you. You've got to work for it. Yeah. It? It's always nice. I feel like if you... You've got to ride that big banana. <laughs> if you want those stars. If you want those stars, you got to ride that pink flamingo, go around on that shiny seahorse. Ride the coin. <laughs> you've got to put on that bikini and you've got to go out there and get those prizes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as amusement, Greg, of course. As amusement, Greg. or amusement, 
Kez, I think, was the yeah, other person who had the exact same smile. She's just a pale imitation of Amusement <laughs> Greg. I mean, let's be honest, it's all about Amusement of Greg. Of course it is. I mean, they should just put that on the front cover. I'm just going to zoom in on his face right now. <laughs> that should be the cover. Not his, his whole body, just it's, his it's, face. It's just his face, not even a title. <laughs> With one of those, you know you get those covers that they... Oh, reversible. Are they reversible? But when you oh, walk the... around... Yeah, and like it's kind of like 3D and you can tilt it. Yeah, oh, that, yeah. Imagine how terrifying and beautiful entrancing that would be. <laughs> I mean, that'd be a million do- million seller within a week. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> oh, definitely. Speaking of buying it for a dollar, as much fun as this game is, it, it's 35 quid. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's I mean, a bit steep. I like, I would say. I mean, with the amount of unlockables, say 15 is probably pretty reasonable. Because, you know, developers, developers have got to make money. They've got the food on the table. They've got to make bigger bananas for Amusement Greg to ride around. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they've got to make it. They've got to make a living, and I understand that. But it's clearly not a £35 game. Like, I mean, like, the the graphics are fine. They're not exactly terrible, but they're clearly, like, just standard graphics. Sort of yeah. Yeah. Um, Admittedly, colour design and level design is all very nice. Um, yeah, it's got a nice, um, you know, like <coughs> like Streets of Rage, it's got a nice use of colour. Yeah. It's all vibrant. Um, the music... The music, there's like two songs. <laughs> yeah, it could be a bit more variety. Yeah. Um, but it does fit in, I guess, with the whole aesthetic of it. Mm. Um, it almost feels like... I do wonder the people that they got to be characters in it, like... Did they have to pay them some money to have their like likeness in it, and that meant they had less budget for other things, and maybe that's Possibly. why it's higher price. But, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Um, but I mean, it's on pretty much all platforms. I don't think it's on Xbox because the Xbox One doesn't often get these third-party oh, sort yeah, of smaller no, games. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like it's it it's for that price. I think it, it yeah, it's definitely too high. It's 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 from a developer no one's really heard of either, which wrong if this is one of their first games by the looks of things it's a pretty good start um but yeah i think 35 is probably just too high mm. like no, you're not really going to bring in people because there's been hardly any advertising for either i think it's like two traders so yeah like especially with like the eShop and the playstation network in order to get your games to sell you have to do like massive discounts on them, which yeah. i'm sure it will but yeah that, i think that's just the only problem is a lot of people won't play this for a very long time because of that price tag, because it's yeah. just too high. Yeah, and there's there's a lot of games on the stores now. I mean, I was looking oh, yeah. the other day, and there's literally thousands of those. Points. Obviously, they're doing like they do indie sales <clears throat> and stuff, and there, yeah. yeah, there is so much to choose from. Exactly. So it's it's got to grab your attention. Mm. Um, and yeah, as much fun as it is, and the much joy we got out of it oh, in yeah. many ways, it's yeah, you need to you need to think about what you're competing against. Sort of, mm. you know? um, but um, like you said, very funny. Mm. Um, Riding around on a giant banana that can be turned pink. It's, you can't put a price on it. <laughs> <laughs> it does, there are some stellar moments. Oh though. yeah, like the deaths in particular. Oh, the deaths are mate. It's when you slam your oh, head. <laughs> it's it's brutal. It is um, brutal. But I feel it, sorry for these people. Yeah, in it's it's not violent. It's it's. Well, it is comical but in a kind of Tom and Jerry style, yeah. <laughs> itching, scratchy. Like it's it's still cartoony and and you know there isn't any blood, but but when you unless you fly... play the hot sauce bottle, well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of blood. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, the the character animation just made me laugh. Like there's a lot of times where it looks like they're having some fun on that flamingo. If you oh, I'm sure they are. I'm sure they're. <laughs> Amusement Greg's having fun oh. all the time. <laughs> Amusement Greg's just happy to be here. That level where we kept dying. Oh my god. He was as happy he, as. He, he, well, I would say Larry, but he's Greg, so he's happy as Greg. I mean, he he, he never lost his smile. He no. Was, he was yeah. always he was always amused because he's Amusement Greg. He's a trooper, you know. Just smiles then, in the face of death. Yeah. It just keeps going. Yeah. He just loves it. Riding that log. Amusement Greg, we salute you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm riding the log. I love the way. So every um, ride has an alternative color or style and everything. And you got some cool ones like the flamingo can turn like reflective and shiny. The banana can turn pink. Um, the uh, what was it? 
what was the one that we kept? There was one we kept playing. I can't remember what it was now. Um, but the coin. The coin you can make into a shiny pirate coin. Seahorse. Seahorse, yes, I that like was the it. The seahorse. golden seahorse. The golden seahorse was good. But then there's the strawberry, which just gets a little bit of chocolate sauce on top and it's barely noticeable. And it could look pretty disgusting when certain characters are riding it. <laughs> but the best one was the log. It goes from being a log with a couple of, like, broken limbs to having slightly extended limbs. <laughs> yeah, with a bit, of, uh, a bit of bush on it. Oh, yeah, definitely a bit, bit, bit of leaf. Oh, that's another thing when we have as well. There's two characters in it, again based on real people, that are twins. And clearly the character model is just the same character model but reversed. Yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, I mean, again, don't let me, don't let that put you off the game. The game is fun. Like it's great to play, and like playing it two player. It's like, designed for co-op. Yeah, definitely. Like the um, the developer was saying, like, oh, we put a lot of time into the co-op, and you can tell because it does work very well. And I. I did wonder, like, if this is like trials, how is this going to work? But the kind of teleporting thing when you get too far behind works quite well. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of times it didn't work right because it would follow the person in the back, not the person in the front. Yeah, so you can't see what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, and like the person at the back would be spinning around in a circle in the water trying to land on the on the surface, and the other one would be flying ahead, but it will still follow the guy spinning (laughs) in the spot. It is also interesting how. <clears throat> Obviously, the flotation devices you choose affect. <laughs> that's what we call them flotation devices. <laughs> it affects your. Yeah, your balance. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because you know, <clears throat> the banana is quite a safe bet. It's the, quite, it's quite large. The coin is <laughs> dicey as hell, but <laughs> it's <good>. is a <laughs> joy. It's 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 so funny to behold. Oh. Um, yeah, it really did have me chuckling. As well. And the uh, the other thing I'd be chuckling was a couple of the glitches when you die. Oh man! You just get skyrocketed. Yeah. <laughs> You've just gone to space, and that's where you're staying for the rest mm. of the game. And it was all random. You would just die and just go. Bing! Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Speci- specific kind of angles would just be like. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> you're He's gone. gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Greg's I gone to space. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was interesting. We've only seen two worlds so far. I'm not how many, sure how many there are. Um, but there's like 12 levels per one of them. And they're, like I said, they're all quite good and unique sort of thing. The one with the giant squid was interesting. Yeah. I thought that was quite an interesting add to it. Because it would be like trying to like take you out and stuff. Yeah, the levels are <clears throat> nicely designed in terms of, like you said, squids interfering with the the courses Mm. like the way the courses change over the levels and i think the second island was swampy yeah i quite like that not hygienic but second level not hygienic at all especially in just like shorts yeah they need to be like hazmat suits yeah and uh, i mean amusement greg's always smiling he's got his mouth open exactly all sorts of swamp bilge (laughs) going down his throat i hope when amusement greg slams his head into like planktus and stuff He's still smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Not a single tooth broken. <laughs> I mean, he's dead. But, <laughs> oh. but yeah, I, I look forward to playing more of it because it was just so ludicrous I couldn't believe it was a game. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I, think, I think that's what games need to be when they're so amusing. Well, I mean, if, if you look at a lot of the games we've talked about, like Unto- Un- Untootled? Untootled. <laughs> Untootled. <laughs> Untitled Goose Game. Um, Streets of Rage and Streets of Rage and um, moving out. out there there is definitely an element of the, the craziness which yeah, works so well in co-op definitely um, I mean don't get me wrong you can play some <coughs> great co-op games like serious campaign games yeah. like Resistance although it's an old game now I used to love playing that co-op like the Halos and stuff and the Halos yeah. but at the same time it is a lot of fun just to pick up a a very silly game and just be dying with laughter for, yeah i think we played that for like three hours yesterday oh man great yeah great time and it just got better and better um because it got more ludicrous and ludicrous so uh we, you've uh, we've already announced that amusement greg is both our favorite characters do you have a favorite ride so flamingo seahorse banana coin log tire Ooh, got love that tire <laughs> and there was a bunch of others but i hope I'm looking forward to unlocking the unicorn and the shark. They look good. I quite liked the 
seahorse. I quite like the seahorse. The seahorse was good. Yeah. yeah. Although the flamingo was hilarious. The flamingo was because good. that that flamingo's neck was just wild. It was all uh, all <laughs> over the place. There was a point when I was riding the flamingo where its head kind of got caught on like a. I remember. Platform. It just went boop and then stretched out. Actually, for a second. tell a lie. Dumbbell's my favourite. Oh, the dumbbell's good because we spent twenty minutes staring at it, getting stuck on one level. Yep. Yeah. Yep. To the uh, to the developers, that level is hell. It's pure hell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I. We even got a trophy. We did how for, we for how many times we died. Yeah. Oh, and I like the alligators. I think the alligators are well placed. Yeah. And it's where they just go, and then you're eaten. Like, yeah, I mean, like like we said earlier, it's the the obstacles are, are nicely done. Yeah. Because um, it, it will either be the actual environment you've got to get around. Mm. There were some kind of bits where bridges fall down. Mm. And there was a few times where we weren't sure which way to go. Um, but we, we managed to figure it out in the end. Um, and then you've got the actual creatures that attack you and mm. stuff. Um, I think Link's about to go nuts. What do you mean about to? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he's prancing this way. Um, but anyway, yeah, slide stars. I, I definitely recommend it. Wait until definitely wait until a price start because it's, it's just not a polished enough game to be that price. But it's uh, definitely a good laugh, and I think if that's like like I said, one of the first few games that company's made, they're off to a good start. So. Mm -hmm. um, right. Well, I suppose that's it. I suppose I'll say thank you to the developers for handing the game over. Yeah, for free. yeah. It's nice of them. Um, and thank you for reaching out to me. It was interesting to get the offer. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, Cold games so. should so. give them a go. It's good, good little selection. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> all of these are playable offline as well, and um, so it's all like split screen and stuff like that, which is nice. That's another thing mm. which I love because um, I don't have because I'm not a big online player. I don't have PS Plus. Yeah, um, and it <coughs> does make me a little bit annoyed that offline games have become. There are still a lot of offline games. Yeah. But Nowhere near as much as they used to be. Like getting that co-op experience or like just multiplayer experience on a single screen is much rarer. So finding some co-op games or even slightly competitive games like Side Stars and stuff, where you kind of have to work together to get through the level, but then whoever crosses that finish line first, oh, yeah, phew, yeah. you know, but yeah, it's good to uh, find a bunch of games like that. So yeah, let me go this straight. But when when I'm staying behind to let you catch up. <laughs> it's only so I can see what I'm doing. It's not to help. <laughs> you're not you. to help. You're not because doing if it. If I go it forward easier. without being able to see what I'm doing, then you're probably right. going to die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, one day we'll get past that level that we've already spent 20 minutes on. Yeah, yeah. It will probably be <clears throat> when Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk comes, 2077 yeah, yeah. comes out, yeah. which will also be when Brexit is actually finalised. <laughs> Uh, which will be when Donald Trump admits that he's lost the presidency. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, 2088? Yeah. yeah. So, by the time Cyberpunk comes out, it will be set in the past. Well, that would be weird. That would be weird. I mean, half the cats are probably, like, dead by that point. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Anyway, thank you for listening, if you did. If you didn't, you're a bit of a prick, aren't you? Yeah. You're <laughs> lost. Yeah, yeah. A bitch. Cop games. Yeah. Do's them. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for listening and goodbye. Thank you. I've been Phil. And I've been Phil. Uh, I've been Dad. <laughs> and he's been Blink. He's staring at the TV blindly. <laughs> no, not going to get a noise from him this time. No. Anyway, goodbye. Ta ra! Right. Oui. Oui. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Phil. I'm the creator of the Pixel Tavern. Recently, I've started a film podcast with the Dan from this one called That Dan Film Show. In the lead up to Christmas, we're reviewing as many Christmas films as possible. Some you know, some you all wish you could forget. Please go check us out on Spotify in the link below, and you will find all of our social channels linked as well. 
If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe for more videos soon. And as always, there are more on screen now. Until the next video everyone, thank you very much for watching.